classes back in session in Southwick following a week-long February break for students. Thanks everyone for joining us on this Monday and welcome to Western Mass News at 5. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnevale. Their return comes after several racially charged bullying allegations came to light by one black regional school student. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days is live at the school with more details. And Wesley, it wasn't an average day for these students, was it? It certainly was not Abby and Chris. A lot of conversations were had, including those incidents that you just talked about, those allegations that were just spoken about at the top of this show. Now, they include derogatory remarks made at students of color and an online slave auction where white students could allegedly bid on their black classmates. Now, throughout the afternoon, officials here at the regional school spent most of their day in assemblies with the six grades housed in the building behind me here. They had an open dialogue with students about race. Now, how did we get here? Just over a week ago, Western Mass News received a statement from the NAACP demanding Southwick leaders to look into these incidents that involved a 13-year-old black female student. Last week, we heard from that student's mother, Allison Lopez, about what happened to her daughter. Officials also reached out, promising us they'd get to the bottom of these claims. They wrapped up their investigation just last week. No word on what consequences were handed down to those students involved. Now, fast forward to today. Lopez's daughter did not return to the classroom, but we did hear from a student about what occurred during those assemblies. Just an assembly, and they met with each grade individually and just talked about, like, what we can do as a school moving forward and how to change our impact online and, like, in the hallways and make ourselves, like, a better example. And do you feel like it was impactful? I think to an extent, I think there were definitely some kids that didn't take it as seriously, but for the kids that really paid attention and listened, I think it can be. Yeah. And Abby and Chris, after our four o'clock broadcast on ABC 40, one student who does not want to be named felt compelled enough to reach out to our newsroom and says that those assemblies that Lena just spoke about were, quote, insultingly brief. Now, we're still waiting to hear back from the school district about how they felt this assembly day went for not only the leaders, but for the students involved in those meetings. Now, tonight at six, we're going to hear from parents about how they feel about those assemblies and the importance of having conversations in the dialogue of race in school. Reporting live in Southwick, Wesley Days, Western Mass News. Wesley, thank you for that live